In this video, I'll show you 15 animal invasions, and the last one will blow your mind. Just a few escaped insects turned into a 150-year nightmare. Wild snakes in Florida wiped out 99% of all animals. Billions of locusts plunged the sky into the darkness of death. When you learn about the disaster caused by the insect in the final segment, your jaw will drop. These stories are so incredible, you won't believe they're actually true. Are you ready? Let's get started. Nobody could have predicted that just a few snakes would bring Florida to this state. But when the Burmese pythons arrived, nature became the stage for a bloody war. 99% of raccoons were wiped out, opossums were almost completely erased. These giant serpents turned the swampland into a living hell. And the most terrifying part, there was nothing that could stop them. With no natural predators, these hunters multiplied rapidly and claimed the top of the food chain. But this disaster is nothing compared to what's coming, because in the next story, you'll witness the horrifying truth that devastated an entire continent. Nobody noticed such a disaster was approaching until 2020 when death rained down from the sky over East Africa. Hundreds of billions of locusts invaded the land in coordinated waves. A swarm covering one square kilometer destroyed enough food for 35,000 people every single day. The sky went dark, these black clouds were the size of cities, and the most terrifying part, there was no force that could stop them. Everywhere they went, they left hunger, panic, and destruction in their wake. These insects didn't just devour crops, they devoured hope itself. In 1935, Australia played a massive gamble against nature. Just 100 cane toads were brought from Hawaii to fight insects in the sugarcane fields. It seemed like an innocent solution, but this decision changed the fate of an entire country. The moment these toads set foot on land, everything changed. Each one could lay 30,000 eggs at a time. They had no natural predators, no boundaries. The climate was perfect, the territory endless. With their poisonous bodies, they spread rapidly. Today, millions of them have invaded Australia, and there's no method that can stop them. These creatures didn't just swallow the insects, they devoured Australia's entire ecosystem. But the damage from a 100 toads is nothing, because in the next story, a disaster that started with just 24 animals cost billions of lives. A terrifying transformation took place on Darwin's islands. In the 1800s, innocent goats that arrived with whale hunters turned wild and invaded the Galapagos. The ecology of these unique islands had developed in isolation for millions of years. But when the goats arrived, everything was turned upside down. Endemic plants found nowhere else on Earth began disappearing into the mouths of these goats. These sacred lands where Darwin developed his theory of evolution transformed into an ecological battlefield. Tens of thousands of wild goats stripped the islands bare and turned the heart of science into a desert. Galapagos's unique life was defenseless against these goats. These creatures weren't just devouring plants, they were consuming one of the most important places in scientific history. But what about millions of tiny creatures joining forces to form a giant army? In the next story, such a nightmare became reality. In the 1930s, a few ants that secretly infiltrated an Alabama port became America's nightmare. Red imported fire ants invaded 350 million acres. These aggressive ants build mounds reaching 18 inches high and even kill newborn calves. They gnaw through electrical cables, causing millions of dollars in damage. Their venom creates a burning sensation and can trigger allergic shock. The most terrifying part is they don't even die underwater. During floods, they form living rafts and swim to survive. How did just 24 rabbits invade all of Australia? How did a single laboratory accident plunge two continents into chaos? And the insect at number one, the story doesn't end there. In 1890, Shakespeare enthusiast Eugene Schifflin was pursuing a strange dream. He wanted every bird species mentioned in Shakespeare's works to live in America, so he released 100 European starlings in Central Park. It seemed like innocent literary devotion, but this romantic dream became America's nightmare. These birds bred at incredible speeds and displayed aggressive nesting behaviors. Today, they've transformed into an army of 200 million and invaded nearly every corner of North America. They drove native bird species from their nest and completely disrupted the ecosystem's balance. Balance. A love for Shakespeare turned into such an ecological disaster. But the story you're about to see is far more disturbing. With the end of World War II, a hidden threat infiltrated the island of Guam. Brown tree snakes arrived on military cargo ships and quietly settled on the island. Nobody knew how destructive these innocent-looking serpents would become, but over time, a horrifying truth emerged. The island's bird songs were slowly fading away. Natural sounds were completely disappearing. These snakes systematically wiped out nearly all of Guam's bird species. Morning bird chirps, evening melodic sounds, all became history. Today, the island of Guam is shrouded in deathly silence. These creatures didn't just kill the birds, they murdered the soul of an entire island. 
In the early 1900s, Nutria brought to Louisiana for an innocent purpose became the state's nightmare today. These South American rodents imported for fur farming escaped and went wild. These giant creatures, growing up to 20 kilograms, invaded Louisiana's wetlands. But it wasn't just their size that was terrifying, it was their destructiveness. They were uprooting marsh plants from their roots, leaving coastlines completely bare. Each passing year, more land was washing into the sea, and Louisiana's map was shrinking. These rodents weren't just devouring plants, they were consuming Louisiana itself. Coastal erosion accelerated so rapidly that some areas completely disappeared. A fur farming dream turned into such an environmental catastrophe. But the stories aren't over yet. Now it's time for an even stranger tale. The small and innocent-looking European green crab is the world's most deceptive invader. This tiny creature, initially living only in the Northeast Atlantic, has now conquered every continent except Antarctica. It traveled secretly in ships' ballast water and turned ecosystems upside down everywhere it arrived. This small crab is deceptive with its appearance, but terrifying with its destructiveness. It's destroying local mussel beds, devastating fish breeding grounds, and completely altering seabed ecosystems. It breeds rapidly, adapts to any environment, and cannot be stopped. The damage caused by by this tiny crustacean has reached billions of dollars. Its small size makes it even more dangerous because nobody notices it. This is how it earned the title of the world's most destructive marine invader. But what if an invasion as massive as this oceanic disaster took place in the air? In the 19th century, camels were brought from the Middle East for transportation in Australia's desert regions. When their work was done, these camels were released into the wild, but nobody thought about the consequences. In Australia's endless deserts, camels with no natural predators multiplied rapidly. Today, wild camel herds numbering over 1 million are descending into cities, destroying homes, and threatening people. They've become a public safety issue because they cannot be controlled. A transportation solution turned into such a national disaster. In the late 1980s, a secret invasion began in the Great Lakes. Zebra mussels were hiding in the ballast water of ships coming from Europe. When these tiny mussels mixed into the water, nobody noticed the danger. But soon enough, a horrifying truth emerged. Each female could produce one million eggs per year and reach reproductive maturity in just a few months. They spread rapidly by clinging to every surface with sticky threads called bissel threads. Today, they've colonized thousands of lakes and rivers, clogging water pipes and wiping out native species. These tiny mussels conquered North America America's water systems and caused billions of dollars in damage. Their small size makes them even more dangerous because by the time they're noticed, it's already too late. In 1956, a well-intentioned scientific experiment began in Brazil. 26 queen bees were brought from Tanzania to produce more efficient honey in tropical climates. The goal was to crossbreed these African bees with local bees. But in 1957, a terrible mistake happened. Several African queens escaped from the laboratory. This seemingly innocent accident became the nightmare of two continents. These bees were extremely aggressive and crossbred with native bees to create the hybrid species known as killer bees. They multiplied rapidly and began spreading southward. Today, they've invaded millions of square kilometers from South America to North America. Their aggressive behavior, mass attack capabilities, and deadly stings have turned them into a real threat. A single laboratory accident led to such a disaster affecting two continents. In 1859, British settler Thomas Austin made a terrible mistake. He released just 24 European rabbits onto his property in Australia for recreational hunting. What harm could a few rabbits do? He thought, but this decision became the greatest ecological disaster in Australian history. With no natural predators, the rabbits bred at incredible speeds. Within decades, their population reached hundreds of millions and invaded most of southern Australia. They consumed massive amounts of vegetation, caused soil erosion, and destroyed native animal habitat. The situation became so dire that a 3,000 kilometer rabbit proof fence was built in Western Australia. But even the fence couldn't stop them. The rabbits continued spreading and still remain Australia's greatest plague today. 24 rabbits turned into such a continental catastrophe. But even the rabbit invasion seems innocent compared to the creature you're about to see. The house sparrow is one of history's most successful invasive birds. This small creature with brown and gray feathers originally lived only in parts of Europe and Asia, but it spread everywhere alongside human settlements. The secret power of this little bird was its incredible adaptability. It adapted to every type of climate, cities, towns, and farmlands. It bred rapidly, behaved aggressively, and drove native bird species from their nests. Today, it's found on every continent except Antarctica and has reached a population of billions. This tiny sparrow isn't just a bird. It became a true global conqueror. Wherever humans went, they followed and made those places their own homes. Its small size makes it even more dangerous because nobody sees it as a serious threat. But the story coming next is different from all the others. 
1869, a French artist and amateur entomologist living in Massachusetts made a terrible mistake. He dreamed of creating a more resilient silk industry by crossbreeding European gypsy moths with native silk-producing caterpillars. With this innocent scientific curiosity, he was conducting experiments in his backyard, but a few moths escaped from his laboratory. At that moment, nobody understood what this meant. But this small accident became America's greatest insect invasion. These creatures, known as spongy moths, multiplied rapidly and invaded the forests of eastern America. Their caterpillars completely defoliated foliated trees, leaving vast forest areas bare. This invasion, lasting 150 years, has killed millions of trees, caused billions of dollars in economic damage, and forced the U.S. to overhaul its entire pest control system. Just a few escaped insects turned into such a historic disaster. A silk dream became America's longest-lasting ecological nightmare. Which invasion scared you the most? Which one was the most shocking? Share your thoughts in the comments.